Hey everyone, just wanted to take some time and show some payroll reporting in SAP Analytics Cloud using the EpiUse Query Manager and uh, Query Manager Analytics Connector. And so I love this reporting. Uh, if you look at it, I got a gross pay dashboard as one example. And so uh, this is showing an entire calendar year, January 2023 to December 2023. As you can see, I have some high-level analytics here, 18.8 million down to the uh, dollar and cent. I can see the average yearly gross, um, average monthly gross, as well as the last pay date. So some high-level executive analytics here. And then I can actually see this based upon um, key fields from the HR structure in Employee Central. So everyone has business units, divisions, departments, and you can see the breakdown of this. So clearly in this case, the corporate business unit uh, has the highest uh, payroll followed by products and engineering. And then you can actually see the payroll amounts going across um, the different months over here, all the way down to employee level details actually um, in this case. So um, you can see what that looks like. And then you'll be able to see some of the gross pay per employee, some of the top um, paid employees and kind of a, a heat map chart. And so the cool thing I really like about this is you can filter it down. So if I want to, I can you know just look at a specific um, pay period uh, dates. So if I wanted to just focus on January, boom, I can quickly adjust this, click over here, and now I'm just looking at my January amounts. But if I wanted to kind of cover the entire calendar year, the really cool thing is all of this is very dynamic. So if I just want to focus in on the HR department, I can click this and it auto filters everything. So now I'm looking at the month to month of the HR department US. I can see that everyone in this department falls into the um, corporate services division and the, the business unit for corporate. And so we can see the uh, amounts here. So this is the total amount for that um, for the calendar year. And just to kind of reconcile this with success factors real quick to show you, I'm gonna show you Mark Taylor, uh, 120,000. So a couple things. I already have um, Mark Taylor's um, record up here. And the first thing I wanna see is in employment, you can see the business unit, the division and the department, which matches the report. And then if I go down to uh, payroll, do the pay statement, you can see that my uh, Mark pulling up the last payroll of 2023, got paid $120,000 year to date which does reconcile with my um, report right here. So that just kind of shows how this comes together with fields from both Employee Central as well as Employee Central Payroll, and you can look at that as an out. So this is one example, but these are highly customizable. So using our Career Manager and, and Analytics Connector, we can create different versions. And so uh, looks like there's a survey about SAP Analytics Cloud, not now. Here's another report uh, that we created kind of the same way, showing uh, overtime, regular working time. So this is a different view where you can uh, look at like overtime and see how much you have, which business units are having the most overtime at time and a half, or I can click over here and, and look at double time, right? And see which um, uh, my business units or division or department. In this case, it looks like manufacturing. And as you see, I have multiple different pay components up here. So regular working time, you can kind of see uh, how that looks over here, how that goes across. And so this just gives you another look. Uh, once again, you can filter by specific divisions, departments, or pay dates and click down and, and look at that and see the totals up here at the top. So a lot of really, really cool things we can do with this. Thanks for taking the time to listen and uh, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.